Howdy champs, my name is Mohit uh, and guys today I'm going to show you how to uh, work with XML and Flash and combine them together in such a manner that uh, the photo slideshow that is the result uh, is pulling up the music that's number one is pulling up all the images that's number two and the title of all the uh, images that's number three from the XML file um, let me first show you the external assets okay uh, this is the folder where all the assets are kept we have an audio folder where the background music that's about to play is kept we have the images folder where all the six images are kept okay the XML file is kept next to the um, flower file and this is the resulting Swift file in fact let me uh, play the Swift for you and you'll understand things much better okay uh, since I told you that it has a background music I have provided uh, it with a mute button okay and uh, <coughs> here we have an indication of which picture out of how many pictures are playing here this is the title for the picture the call it the title call it the caption call it the description okay this description is coming from the XML file these images uh, are also pulled from the images uh, folder through the XML file so as you see the images the titles and um, the music are all kept externally and uh, we are pulling it up through the XML file and XML uh, and action script 3 right so truly there's not much on the flash stage of the flash interface let me show you the flash stage of the interface as well okay now this is the uh, mute button which has been masked by an area you see this is the mask for the mute button I'll tell you what I mean by that it, you see now probably you can have a much better idea see the mask is uh, the mute button is actually that um, you know those uh, vertical bars that move up and down but since they move up and down uh, you know the size changes so what I wanted that if somebody clicks he should get a regular uniform area where he can click and he can actually mute uh, the sound but that was not happening the bars were jumping all over so even you know sometimes when I was actually clicking on those bars I would miss the button I didn't want that I, w I wanted a nice hit area a uniform nice hit area so what I did was I put yet another um, rectangular shape over it and then I decreased the alpha to a 10% you see I, I put this area all over it and just decrease the alpha to a 10% like this so that the user gets a uniform hit area <coughs> that was the first thing I did now the the actual mute button is uh, below which is you know these uh, vertical bars is actually below the mask and then we have text labels we have one text label on the left and one on the right now the text label on the left I have called it counter the one on the right has been called title both are classic and dynamic text guys okay S and uh, the topmost layer is the action script 3 layer where all, all the uh, script is actually kept guys uh, I'll be talking about the action script and explaining the action script only in part number two of this tutorial in part number one I just wanted to show you what are the assets how are the assets placed uh, the last thing that remains to be shown out here is the XML file. Let me bring it up for you. Let me open it up uh, with the help of Dreamweaver. Now, this is the XML file, guys. Have a look. How has it been designed? Now, XML uh, resembles HTML a lot. One of the biggest differences in HTML uh, and XML is that uh, here you can manufacture your own tags. All the tags that you see out here have been uh, manufactured by me so we have a slideshow opening and a closing tag 
it's also called the ro uh, root node okay then we have the photo list tags encapsulating the photo tags which are self closed so i needed two separate sections one only for the photographs the other was the audio <coughs> tags uh, that are used to encapsulate the music clip the only music clip that is actually for the background music so the background music and all the six pictures in our example uh, have relevant information inside the XML file the audio clip is stored in a different folder the audio folder the images the six images have been stored in the images folder right and as I said uh, then what we do is we mix the XML information with the action script in such a manner that we are able to pull the information and then according to the information we are able to play the background music we are able to pull up the labels let me show you the XML file once again you see out here the photo tag has the path to the images it clearly says out here uh, in the images folder 1.jpg and the title for that image is barbecue chicken so the title tag you know the title attributes have the information about the images this information is also pulled inside flash and there is displayed onto the swift file so you see there are three bits of information being pulled from the uh, XML file the title that's the first thing being pulled from the XML file we are also pulling the images and the third one is the audio the background music that's also pulled from the XML file and as you know XML helps you pull up data which is lying in an external folder or is lying externally other than the flash interface so people uh, you need to join me in part number two of this tutorial to see how the action script actually uh, powers everything and the result is this let me hit control enter once again to export the swift and test the movie mute unmute mute you see the titles out here are uh, relevant to the pictures that's blueberry i think so <laughs> that's barbecue chicken and it clearly says out here picture one of six picture two of six right also people i need to tell you that the font that i've used inside these uh, text fields is vivaldi and i have embedded the font by clicking on this embed button and uh, choosing all giving it a name and saying okay uh, this is an important step because just in case the viewer does not have this font it's always a good idea that you embed it inside the swift file itself so people I'll join you I hope uh, you'll join me in part number two you have a good day guys bye bye peace